Hello everybody, and we're about to continue our Let's Play series of Dark Souls 3. Let's see where our adventure is going to be taking us next. So, in our last episode, we were working our way through the profaned capital. Now we're going to be heading on over... Let's see here. Back to the profaned capital and toward Yorm. As we try to get that Lord Soul. So I think we are going to want to go... I think this way. And then we can drop on down here and... Maybe it's not that way. <laughs> it's been so long. I think it might be actually be up. It's that ladder to the left. I can see it now. It's this way. There we go. I don't think there's anything over here. We're good. I do think we have a couple of gargoyles to take on, though. Kind of always avoid that one. Kind of a rough spot to fight. And let's go to this one. Be around here somewhere. There we go. Oh, we only got one of them. Okay, there we go. Okay, I do think we have a couple more gargoyles to deal with, at least one, maybe two. the profaned flame. I think we have some coins this way. Not really too big of a deal. But if we can grab them, we might as well. I think you can drop down that whole way for one of your paths to Yorm. It's not a way I usually take, though. Okay, where is our gargoyle friend? Should be around here somewhere.
There we go. Let's get some space here. them all up here. Handmaid's Dagger. I don't think I ever really looked at that much. Probably not the best of weapons. Dagger used by handmaids at the profane capital. Each successful attack replenishes a slight amount of FP. It is said that these women took pleasure in wounding others. Well, that is just so cruel. And kind of creepy. some mimics to worry about here. Yeah, that's one, two, and I think three even. Nope, not a mimic. Nice. We can pop that one open. And we get ourselves an ember. Still frosting up here. To slowly dwindle their health a little bit. No need to fight them both at the same time. Kind of a cool spot though. All these little goblets and trinkets. And what looks to be burnt charred corpses. Okay, I think one more time should bring them pretty low, and then we can just take them on. Okay, awesome. Okay, that's one. And that is two. For our troubles, we get a rusted gold coin and great shield of glory. A great shield adorned with flowing patterns, a celebration of an ancient glory. It boasts the high stability of such shields, but with reduced stamina regeneration speed. Perhaps it is the glory that begets indolence. 40 strength required. Pretty good against magic. And rather heavy. Okay, 25,000 souls here with seven flasks. We should have enough to deal with Yorm. Yorm is kind of a mixed bag sometimes. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna get. We 
can pop off everything because we're not going to need any of that. And we might as well take an ember right now. Okay. This should be all we need because we have to go in and get the storm ruler. And here's always one of the coolest parts where we walk in and we get to see Siegward. Quite the reveal. Such a big moment. And sad. Yom. Old friend. I, secret of the Knights of Katarina, have come to uphold my promise. Let the sun shine upon this Lord of Cinder. Okay, well there's Yorm. Who's he going for first here? Okay, good job, Sigurd. Distract him for just a moment. Kind of stuck by that pillar. Oh, oh no, we lost Sigurd. Feel good? More time should do it. Oh, caught us on that one. And there we go. Cinders of a Lord, Soul of Yorm the Giant, and sadly, our good friend Siegward did not pull through. Got a second Storm Ruler, and the shield, and the whole set. Very sad. Okay, let's throw our weapons back on here. Dragon Crush Shield. Of 
course, the throne of Yorm. Only a storm can fell a great wood. Okay, let's take a look here. He did pick up his ashes. Cinders of a lord left by Yorm the giant. If the lords will not return to their thrones themselves, let them return as cinders. Lonely Yorm became a lord of cinder to put the profaned flame to rest, knowing full well that those who spoke of him as lord were quite insincere. And of course we got his soul. Yorm is the descendant of an ancient conqueror, but was asked by the very people once subjugated to lead them, serving as both a weighty blade and stone hard shield. Not sure if we'll use that shield. It is a really good shield, though. We might want that. So we might just hold on to Yorm's soul for a while. I mean, it's really heavy. <laughs> but it's got, like, amazing stats for, like, physical defense and I think stability. Okay, let's take a quick look and see what that shield actually looks like. If it's too heavy, we might not be able to use it, though. Aha, thou returned, and a fine day it is. Because so we don't really have a strength build going on, it's more of a quality hybrid build. Which might not work out. Right, 19 weight for Yorm's Great Machete. Yorm once lumbered on the front lines with a great shield, but one day, in place of his shield, a left-handed notch was added to the, his machete enabling the smashing technique that would become the legacy of his later years. And of course, 20 weight for Yorm's Great Shield. Pretty awesome shield, though. As a lord, Yorm risked everything and fought unflinchingly as a one-man vanguard. Following the loss of the one he wished to protect, he forsook his shield. It's pretty sad. Treat the Firekeeper not to. Welcome and speak very well. Then touch take not. Okay, let's get that vigor up to closer to 30. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flame. I wonder if we can throw that FP or crystal simple gem. <laughs> simple gem. Ah, into our shield here. Infuse weapon, infuse shield. Oh, it doesn't show our shield. I guess we can't infuse that. I wonder if that is the blacksmith in Honor Orlando. We have to get something from over there. The giant that is no longer with us. He might have a gem or something, I forget. There's gotta be a reason. Okay, we have 17,000 souls. We're really... Yeah, we're not that close. <laughs> I guess we're gonna be making our way in over to... I think the Church of Yorshka is the best place here for Pontiff. wonder how well this is going to go. <laughs> it goes well sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. But since we are Embert, I wonder if just for fun we bring along Anri just to see what happens. That'd be a fun little thing to try out. I know in our last attempt against Pontiff in our first playthrough, we ended up just trying to parry him and that seemed to work okay. And then we kind of bled him with the, uh, what's that, uh, the barbed straight sword. That worked out pretty well. Where'd you go? Oh, there, there you are. Two friends over here. The 
bunch of summons actually. Wow, we can bring three people along for this? That is a lot of people. Which would really make Pontiff's health really crazy. <laughs> Not sure if that's the best idea. Okay, here we go. One. Okay, Pontiff Knight Great Sight. That's pretty cool. Seems it is a frost weapon. Let's take a quick look at it. The large blade appears to be eaten away by insects, so it's much like our sword. Great sight wielded by Pontiff's Knights. Frigid spirits that linger in Irithyll. Okay, pretty much the same description. Okay, just for fun. Let's bring along Anri. And who else do we got over here? Londor, Pale Shade, and we've got... Black Hand Goddard is pretty good. Let's take him along. Probably don't want to bring three people, that might be a little too intense. Okay, everybody, let's see how this goes. Probably not going to actually use um, Snap Freeze, just because it might lead to frost damage for our friends here. He's not doing well. Can't see.
Okay, there we go. Okay, solo Pontiff. Definitely a more fun fight solo. <laughs> but I think we got through it. It actually made it kind of harder by having summons along. To quite a bit of damage to get rid of Pontiff. Thanks, Anne Ree and Black Hand Goddard. Quite the job for both of you. I think. Let's see here. Soul of Pontiff Sullivan. Pontiff Sullivan of Irithyll imprisoned a god of the old royalty in the abandoned cathedral to be fed to the devourer. Wow. So, Pontiff, it seems like he took Gwendolyn and fed him. Or left him to be fed to Aldridge. That is some intense stuff. Let's head on over to Firelink real quick. We're actually making pretty good time. Only 27 minutes in. We've got a soul here we can use up. Should be just enough. Welcome home. I should speak that very well. Then take. Farewell, Ashen One. Okay, and let's take a look at the items from Pontiff. Probably won't be using them though. They're both great swords, and they are not part of our build we've got going on. So. It's always cool to see what they are. A ceremonial sword held in Pontiff Sullivan's left hand, the great sword of judgment, representing the judgment of the moon, but with magic far closer to sorcery than any existing lunar power. Its dark blue hues, deeper than the darkest moon, reflect Sorcerer Sullivan's true nature. And of course the profaned great sword. A ceremonial sword held in Pontiff's right hand, representing the profaned flame. Long ago, Sullivan was yet a young sorcerer. He discovered the profane capital, an unfading flame below a distant tundra of Irithyll, and a burning ambition took root within him. Pretty awesome. I don't think Yuri has got any dialogue, but let's take a look. Speak thy desire, honorable lord of hollows. Ah, greetings, our lord and liege. Good tidings. Thy spouse is ready. Oh boy. The time is ripe to greet her. The girl awaits thee in the hidden dark moon chamber of Anor Londo. So thou mayst a true monarch become. Ah, good tide tide the girl. So thou mayst. Okay, we got the dialogue. Henry's fate has been sealed. Oh, then we're both safe and sound. Thank the gods for that. I don't like getting things so close. I might have died if it wasn't for that peculiar onion knife. Oh, good old Sigurd. But in the end, it all paid off. Take a good look. They're sure to be of some use. We got some embers and some blessings, it looks like. Oh, and Twinkling Titanite. We need we need those. <laughs> Twelve thousand apiece, wow. Okay, we need exactly two. Goodbye. And stay safe. So we need to do some farming to get those for sure. Yeah, I think that might actually decide the fate for this episode. Okay, 30 minutes in. I think we'll save our pr progression for our next episode. And in the meantime, I will farm up the souls needed to get that Twinkling Titanite. And get our Pontiff Knight Curve Sword up to plus 5. Because with the Twinkling Titanite, we'll get to plus 4. And we already have a slab. So we'll be sitting pretty well then. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. And we'll be talking again real soon.